Okay, so I had part two of the Summer Fiesta missions planned for today, and I recorded three of the missions, and two of them OBS bugged out. So that's off the table now, and I'm thinking I'm just going to skip the second mission pack, because I don't feel like doing those again, and it's just a pain. So today we're going to be doing part three of the Rare Required series. I got a request to do one of these not that long ago. And I kind of like that idea because it has been a while. Now in other news, you may notice I sound a little different. I just got a brand new microphone arm, and I'm kind of loving it a little bit. I've tweaked it a little bit, played with it a little bit, and I've got it sounding kind of how I like it. But I'm gonna have, like I'm gonna go over this video and tweak it a little more probably. But for now, I'm thinking it's sounding all right, and hopefully it, I don't have any issues with it for today. But we'll see. But yeah, we're, we're starting out on Val. Rare required number three. We'll see what we can find. We probably won't shoot it on this map. Usually with this series, I kind of jump around maps and have some fun with it. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've been hunting Val de Bois for a couple hours now. And I've seen only one thing of interest. And that would be this fox that I'm attempting to call in at the moment. Now I should have had this fox on the ground at least an hour ago. But as I was getting the scope on it, some guy managed to sneak up behind me and decided it was a great idea to shoot a shot off right beside me. So it ran away, and it took me a long time to find it. And then I finally found it, and then I made a bad shot on it and it didn't die. So here we are. I actually, I can see him through the trees. He just, he just walked in between those two rocks. But he's got a score estimate of 21 to 34, so he's definitely got some good potential. And it's not a bad way to start this off. It really doesn't feel like I'm starting this off because I've been chasing him for so long, but we're starting it off. Now I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave Val after this fox. I haven't decided what map I'm going to go to yet. I think I might hit pick a bean for a bit, for sure. Just, just in case that albino water buffalo is ready to hit the ground. I kind of want to do some geese or duck hunting. I might do some white heart tree stand hunting. There's, there's lots of things I could do. Who knows what I'll do. I'll make a decision at some point. Now is not the time to make that decision. Now is the time to make sure that this fox dies. And that needs to be my focus. But I don't see him yet, so maybe that should be my focus, is seeing him. Okay, I gotta take this one step at a time. And there's a fox coming from over there, but I don't think it's him. Not with where I got the call and where I just saw him. I don't think that can be him. I don't see a bullet hole in him. Yeah, no, that's not him. So hopefully he makes an appearance before this one gets too close or we could have some issues. And that looks like our guy. Yep, there we go. I'm not going to make a bad shot this time. Dead. That took way longer than it should have, but hopefully he's worth it. And I'm thinking he definitely has potential to be worth it. He also has potential to only be a 22 and kind of piss me off. There's also that potential. I'm less fond of that potential. Oh. 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 I'm, yeah. Mm. I said I'd be upset if he was a 22 and he was, he was smaller than that. Well, that was a real kick in the gut. I spent a lot of time chasing that thing. Yep, map switch time. Or nap time, it might be nap time. I think it's nap time, actually. Okay, so we've moved over to pick a bean. And I've come here to pursue the very slight chance that I run into my albino water buffalo that I've been chasing for months. And we've got a pretty good looking sandbar in front of us. 
He's like in these trees somewhere. I just saw him dip in there. And once I get a clear shot, he's gonna catch a nice 340. And down he goes. Still, still no rares. This is probably gonna take a while because it always does when I'm, when my intention is to get one. They just never show up. It's it's Murphy's law. It just it doesn't work that easily ever. It's a real it's a real thorn in my side. But it's all right. Okay, it'll get done. And hopefully I kill some decent stuff along the way, which I haven't done too bad. That fox was a disappointment. I'm still kind of upset about that. But it's fine. This this sandbar is probably going to be all right. Hopefully. I haven't been as good at, uh, at judging them since the antlers, the rack style changed, but I'm gonna say this one's probably like just shy of 210 would be my guess. I don't think he's much better than that. But like I said, my judging has gone, gone to crap since they changed. Okay, I was right. I was right. That, that's all I have to say, I was right. Now I need to find my albino water buffalo. It's gonna happen. I want. I really want to hit it before 500 subs. So I, I gotta. I gotta put the grind on. Okay, so we're on day two of looking for a rare for this video, and no such luck. Maybe that's because I've been kind of grinding water buffalo because I really want my rare water buffalo to be the rare for this video. But you know, it's, it, it's fine. I'll, I'll eventually switch if this gets too too repetitive, but it's it's about time. I, I just broke a thousand water buffalo kills not too long ago, so it, it's time. It's time for the albino to show up. Let's see what this guy's gonna score. Worse than I thought. Worse than I expected. But it's fine. I shall take it. He's not white, which is, well, I guess technically albino water buffalo are pink, but same shit. The search shall continue. And I might go do some duck or goose hunting later, just because I kind of feel like doing that. And maybe a rare will show up then. Okay, so I finally decided to switch off of pick a bean. And look what we have here. That is a flock of geese with three rares in it. Now I just need to kill one of them to get this done. But I'm gonna try to kill multiple of them and get them in the same spot for a super rare. I probably won't be successful, but you know I'm gonna try. Why do I only see one of the rares now? Okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm gonna win. We're gonna get them. Eventually they're gonna fly over. I'll probably see you guys in two hours when I finally get one of them. Alright, this flock what? has some of the rares. What? They're coming what? over us. And one of them broke. What? Okay, sweet. <laughs> I'm trying to keep my eyes on them. Because I can't really tell with the sun. That's him right there. Done. Alright, I'm not gonna pick him up, so I wanna keep him on the ground to try and get the super rare. I don't actually know which one is him. He's here somewhere. It might be this one. No, it's definitely this one. Okay, we got one on the ground. Now we wait for the next one. Okay, so uh, while I was looking for the other rare to come back, I managed to kill an 8,800 goose, which is technically above the, uh, the 8,500 that is super rare standard for a trophy. And as you can see, we've got our rare in the background there. So this is technically a super rare, but I'm gonna keep the rare on the ground, and then I'm gonna keep hunting and see if the other rares, or one of the other rares comes back. But this is our, this is our rare, our super rare photo. Our super rare photo in case the other ones don't come back around. We'll go ahead and accept that. I'm gonna taxidomize that because that's a very nice goose. 
definitely by far my biggest. Let's just have a look. I don't know the exact score. 8,814. So that's definitely the best goose that I've shot. But I'm going to keep this one here on the ground. And maybe one of the other ones will come back. It's been like probably close to two hours since I shot this one. Oh, I hear geese. It looks like it's a single one. And I would imagine it's not... Yeah, it's common. Alright, well... We'll keep waiting, and hopefully one of those other light grays comes by. Well, it's been an hour since I've seen a flock. And I've been at this for probably almost close to four now. And... No sign of any of the other rares. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna pick this one up. And I'm going to give up on this super rare attempt. Absolute tiny female. Light gray leucistic. 3024.527.3.2 CSS. I might even mount this just because of how small it is. But I'm going to go ahead and take a trophy shot of it now. And I'll see you guys when I got it looking spiffy. Okay, so it's a pretty basic goose trophy shot, but it shows off the colors pretty nicely. Maybe zoom it in just a little more. And accept, and I'm going to texturize it just because. I might, I, might, I might put it in the Wall of Shame Lodge just because of how small it is. Okay, so that wraps up our third episode of Rare Required. I think that might have been my least time recording, actually. I think all the other ones have taken closer to three days of recording to get the rare. We almost got, well, I mean, we got a technical super rare. It wasn't a real... I don't really like to consider the trophy animals part of the super rare gallery, because it's kind of... It, it's, yeah, it's gray area for me. The super rare gallery, in my opinion, should be only rare variants, but it is what it is. I might submit it. I'll think about it. But anyway... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.